Hunt for a serial killer more than 30 years after the last victim was found. The New Bedford Highway murders terrorized the South Coast back in the 80s. And as chief investigator Cheryl Fiandaka reports, one victim's family believes the case is one tip away from being solved. From WBZ TV 4. The skeletal remains of a young woman have been found along a southeastern Massachusetts highway. Investigators hope the bodies of women started showing up in March of 1988. All had disappeared from the same area in New Bedford. It was ludicrous not to admit that it was a serial killer. Months later, when the killing spree ended, police had nine murders on their hands and two women still missing. Maureen Boyle wrote a book about the investigation. You had the remains of a woman after a woman after a woman found along the two highways, similar situations, similar backgrounds. They're all addicted to drugs. That was the unifying element. The killings have left residents and merchants in the square edgy. I knew something was wrong. I had such a bad feeling. Judy's sister, Nancy Piva, became the second victim of the New Bedford Highway killer. The 36-year-old mom was last seen leaving a local bar. Her body was discovered weeks later off of 195 in Dartmouth. And every time I drive by the area, I mean, I'm always looking. What are you looking for? Just to remember that somebody just thought she was trash and could dispose of her so easily makes me angry. It was her case that really got things moving. Former New Bedford police detective Richard Ferreira and his partner investigated Nancy's murder and connected her case to the others. I think we might have a serial murder around here. And uh, that's, that's when we discovered it. They say the remains are that of a woman in her late teens or early 20s. But that would be the only discovery. Over the years, police identified suspects, but no one was ever charged with the murders. It's the most difficult case I've ever investigated. The hardest thing for me is the families, and particularly the families of the two girls that we never recovered the remains of. That really haunts me. Do you think the killer is getting away with it or got away with it? I hope not. Now, more than 30 years later, hope is all Nancy's sister and the other families have left. I believe someone knows something. I made her a promise I would never give up and I won't. Investigators who worked on this case say with little physical evidence and no video, the best chance of solving this case will likely come down to a tip and are asking anyone who may have any information to contact state or New Bedford police. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Now, have you seen something the I-Team should be looking into? Send us an email at iteam at cbsboston.com or call us at 617-779-TIPS.